Hello. Durr. 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 Uh, there we go. Recording has started. Yes. Yes. Uh, ooh, stuff. So, okay. I'm uh, Mr. Elijah from the TDC. Awesome folks. You should look them up if you're into doing gaming. Look up TDC. And you should also look up the trust. They're pretty cool. But, you know, TDC, big fan of them. So, uh, yeah, Mr. Elijah made a suggestion here. I was drawing a big blank for yeah, content. Like a bajillion info. And that's him speaking there. Uh, Freeloading. <coughs> He's going to love hearing that later. But uh, made a suggestion... Uh, for a video here to do uh, a little bit of kind of a disk cleanup thing. Uh, some people are wondering, you know, if I want to clean up some of my browsing history, some of the temporary files, stuff like that, how do you go about doing it? And I don't think there's a video for one on Vista, so figure let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's switch over to the Vista desktop. And, of course, the chat window, which you conveniently always see down there at the bottom right of our videos, which you can always participate in if you go to live, oh, ooh, that's a habit, uh, www.defcon-5.com slash NOC, which will eventually be changed to live.defcon-5.com, but um, that'll be soon. <coughs> but yes, as I was saying... Um, you can always participate and check you there. And, oop, wrong window. We got Firefox, I'll show you, and we got the Internet Exploder. And I'm going to show you how to clean up some stuff in here. So you go ahead, you open up your Internet Explorer, like I did, and then you go to Tools, Internet Options. And what we want to do here is clean up your form history. Um, cookies, temporary internet files, it's really, really basic stuff. It's pretty much the same if you've been using XP, um, Internet Explorer 7 on theirs. It's pretty much the same as it is on Vista here. Um, you go into the internet options under tools and you have the delete button. And here you can kind of pick and choose. You can delete your temporary internet files, your cookies, your history, form data, passwords. Um, I would always recommend turning off the password feature. Uh, I do not like the idea of my passwords being stored. Anybody walking up using the computer, you're logging right into your website, causing all kinds of havoc. Um, messing up your MySpace page if you have one. I despise the horrible thing. Um, <clears throat> form data, any addresses you put in there if you do credit cards through like PayPal, anything like that, any online purchasing, I would definitely recommend turning that off. If the computer shared by any family members, stuff like that. Uh, your browsing history is literally what it sounds like, history of all the pages you've been to. Um, it keeps that for a certain period of time. Uh, you click that. Um, cookies. Uh, this is a huge thing I hear people hype up, how you need to delete your cookies, how they're horrible, uh, how they're going to track you around the internet, etc, etc. It takes a while to compile shit. Um, they're, they're not that bad. It's pretty much nothing more than getting like a receipt from a web page. You know, saying, yeah, you've been here, this is your customer number, that's it. Pretty much your equivalent of it. Uh, I don't see the big hype about cookies. If you go through and you get prompted for them, you get nagged to death by them. Uh, that's, that's another story altogether. Um, and of course, temporary internet files. This is all the actual files. When you go out and browse web pages, these are the files that are getting downloaded to your computer. 
Elijah just talks a lot. <clears throat> um, anytime you browse a web page, you got the actual page content, any pictures, stuff like that. That's all the temporary oh, internet files. A lot. So that's really the big one I think you should go through, delete that every once in a while. It just builds up. So we'll go through. We can delete that one. If you want to go ahead and clear all this out, you can just hit delete all down here. Uh, move this window up. I'm not sure if you can see all that there. There we go. Got the delete all. And it'll delete the files, the cookies, the history, the forms, passwords. Just deletes it all. And you hit that, and it pops up. It tells you all oh, this really cool, fun stuff it does. So that's deleting uh, pretty much all the browsing history stuff you need to be really worried about there. You can go over to the privacy tab, you can set some things for cookies over there. Um, <clears throat> some of the security options over here, you can adjust that as well for the cookies. Um, advanced, you go in here. And let me find it. You got some information about form data in here, security options. Um, if I can find the section, it was in here earlier. I looked. No, it's here. But you can go in there. So I'm guessing wooden dummy drill. So the wooden dummy drill is stronger than the triple front. I just mutilize you there. <coughs> and uh, yeah, your settings are in there for that. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And that takes care of Internet Explorer. If you've got Firefox, you prefer Firefox, you can go to Tools, Options, and you go to Privacy, and you have the Private Data section. Uh, you can go through there and hit the settings to just, you know, how often you should clear it. Um, when you close Firefox, it'll you can actually have the option to always clear this stuff out: the browsing history, download history, save forms, cache cookies, save passwords, indicated sessions, all that nonsense. All you have to do is just check that little box right there, which you probably can't see because the resolution. <clears throat> but that can do that. Um, if you want to clear it manually, right below that settings option under the privacy tab, you have to clear now. Same thing, same terms. Browsing history, download history is probably the only thing that's different in here. Uh, when you go to download a file in Firefox, it keeps track of that. Usually, um, you don't really care what you downloaded two or three weeks ago. Um, so I always like to have that automatically clear out when I download something. We can just hit clear private data, takes care of it. Uh, for everything you check here. That's the only one difference with Firefox. Um, I'm assuming by the increased visitor account that could be Elijah now on here. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? I got the volume back up. Um, and then you got cleaning up windows. It's another big thing. People always go, you got to clean up your temporary files and you defragment your hard drive. Uh, the locations of that stuff's a little bit different in Vista. You open up your My Computer, which, sorry, computer, it's no longer My Computer in Vista, the My Prefix is dropped for everything. You go to your C drive, and you go to your Users folder, and then whatever user profile you want to clear the temporary files out of. And then you have app data. At this point, you may not see this folder. It is a hidden, hidden folder. Uh, if you don't have hidden files viewable, just press your Alt key on your keyboard. Go to Tools, Folder Options. Then you go to View. Yeah, I just love all these steps here. <clears throat> and you scroll down here, you see Hidden Files and Folders. Show hidden files and folders and uncheck high protected operating system files.